Oh. Oh. Hello friends, welcome back to the Backyard Warrior. Thank you for tuning in again. Tonight we're doing an overnight cook. Tomorrow is Super Bowl, so actually today is Super Bowl, it's already midnight. So one of my friends asked me if I can cook some barbecue for them. See? Why not? So I picked up two lamb shoulders, two briskets, and beef cheeks these are my favorite so now we're gonna season this meat let it sit for a little bit until i get the smoker ready before that let's look at a little bit of trimming action i did yesterday and this morning Seasoning. I'm using some yellow mustard as a binder. I diluted this with a little bit of English sauce and then for my rub I have an all-purpose rub. This has salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, coriander, paprika. I believe that's it. A little bit of herbs. So salt, pepper, cumin, coriander, paprika and some herbs. Alright now I'm gonna slather a little bit of this. This is like I said, diluted with some Worcestershire sauce.
I don't think I need a binder for these, they're a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna apply the rub directly. So today I'm cooking with a mix of oak and pecan. It worked very well from previous cooks. The mix is leaves a nice smoky flavor. I think this should be enough for for now. Uh, it's time to move things around a little bit. I guess it's time to start cooking right now. All right, smoker is up to them. Now, time to place these briskets this way. Point towards 
firebox. Same thing. I'm gonna put these on this side here. So these uh, beef cheeks, I just wanna put some smoke in them, maybe a couple hours, and then, uh, cause I'm gonna braise them in some beef towel. So all I need is a little smoke and we're good. Put the big one in the hot spot right here. Small ones here in the cool side. I don't want them to burn or to get charred. So this is good so far. Oh now beef cheeks and brisket. Ah, right, so two hours in. And we're looking good so far. These beef chain have smoke in them, so I'm gonna put them in the pan here and braise them with some beef tallow. Brisket is getting there. Color is nice. Bark is forming. So far, so good. But this is some beef tallow I rendered earlier from the brisket. So nothing goes to waste. That's good. At 225, we'll braise slowly until it's tender. Oh, it's wrong. Uh, brisket looking good. Bark forming. Spritz a little bit. Some water and apple cider vinegar. Place the lamb right in front of the brisket. Use it as a, a shield for this brisket. Color is getting there. The bark is forming. So far, so good. Fat is rendering. So, all the good signs for a good brisket. And there's our lamb right here. Cook and we'll be back in maybe a couple hours. It's been raining for a couple hours now. I'll probably finish this cook in the pellet smoker. Whenever I'm done with this wood, we're gonna check on this meat. Nice. Doing good so far. These shoulders look like they need a little spritz. Brisket doing good. Little pulling on this one. Uh, take care of that. But so far, so good. That's good. If this rain don't stop. I probably switch to the pellet grill. We'll see. Give it a maybe another hour. So this rain is not stopping. I'm gonna transfer my brisket and lamb to the pellet grill. At least it's under the roof, and I don't have to interrupt my my cook. So. Uh, this is some uh, the spritz I use for the meat. 
to make the, the paper pliable I'm gonna wrap brisket in butcher paper and lamb in a foil and then finish it off in a pellet grill bark sell a little bit brisket looking good friends this cook is over Super Bowl 2020 barbecue party it was a fun experience a great time with friends and we cooked a few cuts of meat as well this one right here is the beef cheeks my favorite this came out great very tender juicy and flavorful a lot of smokiness in it as well it was confit in beef tallow for a few hours and this is the final result you see in front of you we made few tacos from them and everybody loved them it was a hit at least for me it was my favorite cut amongst all the meat we had and next we had a, a lamp shoulder that was a cut, nice cut as well clean bones came out great smoked for 10 hours a uh, nice rub to it as well a great flavor and uh, not a gamey lamb flavor at all dry branding did its thing and everybody loved it as well it was tender juicy and a lot of flavors as well and then uh, last but not least the star of the show is uh, my brisket I had a couple prime brisket this one right here was one of them very juicy this rested for almost six seven hours and it's still steaming hot in a cooler and uh, the final product man smoke ring beautiful juicy and it cuts clean as well too tender flavorful and uh, everybody loved the brisket as well we made some burn ends some slices a little bit of everything all in all this party was great everybody was happy we had a great time great food and i'll definitely do it again with that being said thank you for tuning in don't forget to share like subscribe all that good stuff it helps a great deal until the next one stay safe and